Okay, we have a teaser trailer for The Predator. I haven't done a trailer reaction in a while. This one's called Prey. What do we have, like six or seven Predator movies already? And they've gotten it right exactly one time so far? I'm counting the Alien vs. Predator uh, duology because of course they're timeless works of art. Let's start the trailer. <laughs> I don't know why I said let's start the trailer for Prey. I can't start the trailer for Prey. I can show you like four second intervals and talk during it because YouTube copyright, baby. Anyway, this teaser is only a minute long and most of it's trees, but we do have one thing that comes out right away and that's from the director of 10 Cloverfield Lane. I quite enjoy 10 Cloverfield Lane. Does the Cloverfield stuff feel completely tacked on? Yeah because it was. A nice little bottle type movie where a character has to get out of a bad situation. I always eat those up. Let's continue. Okay, we have a girl running out of the woods. Possible scenario, she heard a scary ghost story. She's trying to get away from the scene. Alternative theory, she farted really bad and is trying to flee from the scene of the crime. I know when I break wind and it's a potent smell, you gotta like run in circles and just take off. You gotta like crop dust the area and get the hell out of there. Leave that scent behind. You don't want it to trail with you though. You put a chemtrail through the air and people are gonna be able to trace it right back to you. She gets tackled by some bozo, probably a friend of hers, who knows, but the look on her face says, hey dude, that was kind of a dick move. They have some tribal markings, some face paint, probably not the type of people you're gonna see at the local IHOP next week. Boom, we get the shot at the forehead, there's the money shot. Side note of sorts, is that proper bow etiquette? I always thought you were supposed to pull back by the ear kiss the side of the lobe, let it go, and that arrow flies past the string and to its prey, which is the name of this film. So it's applicable. All right, we get a final hero shot coming up with the hatchet. We see the predator in his stealth mode, and then bam, prey. It's still weird seeing the 20th Century Studios logo. I don't know how I feel about it. It makes me uncomfortable. So many decades of 20th Century Fox. Wish I... Had something to pour one out. Sheila, can you hand me something to pour out for Fox? Okay, yep, just continue smoking. Yeah, we're on your time. We're on your time. You know, it's a teaser. Didn't give me anything. It's gonna be intimate. I hope we're gonna get back to the feel of the first Predator. Predators kind of did that at first, but then it went completely off the rails where the one dude's kind of psychotic. Uh, and it turns into like a man versus man thing, which I didn't really like. I, I want the hunt. I mean, yeah, I'm excited. Oh, there's still a little bit more of the trailer. Let's watch that now. Oh my God, no! What, no! Hulu exclusive? Oh, oh, sweet baby Jesus, why? What is, oh my gosh, what is happening? We're at the upside down point now where not only does Disney own Fox, but they think the theater release is too good for freaking Predator? Are you out of your mind with this? This is ridiculous. I, I, I won't stand for it. I need to sit, I need to sit down. Sheila, bring me a chair, please. Oh, I forgot. You're useless to me. Just like Hulu exclusive movies. They're always bad or, or passable at best. My deep water review should tell you that. That movie was atrocious. What a nightmare. I am not excited about this now. Honestly, that just, that kills all momentum I had looking forward to this. Freaking Hulu exclusive. Let me know. Let me know in the comments what you think of this news. That I, I had no idea, honestly. I was excited for this. I, I mean, I'm always excited for New Predator and it almost always lets me down. It's quite an amazing experience. But this has let me down and it isn't even out yet. I haven't even seen a full trailer. If you're new to the channel, pull out your largest knife, throw it at the subscribe button, and stick around. It's a predator reference. Arnold, come on. You gotta subscribe for that. Subscribe for Arnold Schwarzenegger references. And I'll see you next time, baby. I don't know why I ended with baby. Sheila, edit that out. You know a movie I just saw that was an exclusive streaming one was The Bubble on Netflix with uh, Judd Apatow did it. Uh, uh, remarkably unfunny. Watchable? Sure. Does it hold a candle to past Apatow films? No, he's completely lost his way. I didn't even bother reviewing it. I, I just had almost nothing to say. Uh, some, some movies I watch and I just walk away thinking, I, I don't need to talk about this. No one needs to hear my thoughts on this. So now the bubble, it's getting reviewed in an end credit bumper on a different unrelated video. There you have it, the bubble. Mediocre at best, unwatchable at worst, I fall somewhere in the middle.